Good evening. It's Monday, December 16, 2019 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in News Bits tonight. Department of Health Central Visayas Director Jaime Bernadas has revealed that aside from private hospitals, government-owned hospitals also lack nurses. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. Department of Health Central Visayas Director Jaime Bernada said, aside from private hospitals, government-operated hospitals suffer from shortage of nurses as well. Bernada said nurses prefer to apply in hospitals operated by the national government as the salary is higher compared to those operated by the local government units. The rate for nurse 1 in national government hospitals is at 31,000 pesos, while rate for nurse 2 ranges from 35,000 to 38,000 pesos. However, Bernada said not all are accepted to work in hospitals operated by the national government. Hence, nurses choose to work abroad. Meanwhile, LGU hospitals only offer 16,000 to 18,000 pesos for nurse 1 and 20,000 pesos for nurse 2, similar to salary offered by private hospitals. Bernada said private hospitals should have five to seven nurses in each working station. The director said not only private hospitals experience nurse shortage, but also government hospitals. In Cebu, there are only four national government hospitals, namely Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center, St. Anthony Mother and Child Hospital, Eversley Child Sanitarium, and Talisay District Hospital. The 10 LGU hospitals in Cebu include Cebu City Medical Center. Lapu-Lapu City District Hospital, Mandawi City Hospital, Isidro Quintanar Memorial Hospital, and Cebu Provincial Hospitals in Bogo City, Karkar City, Danao City, and Balamban. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella has assured Cebuano Sea Games medalists that they will receive bigger incentives from the city government than previously announced. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. Bigger incentives await Cebuano Southeast Asian Games medalists. This, as Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella assured that they will be getting incentives higher compared to what is mandated in the city ordinance that grants incentives to athletes who will win medals in any sports competition. The ordinance states that a gold medalist shall receive 100,000 pesos, 50,000 pesos for silver medalists, and 25,000 pesos for bronze medalists. But Labella assured the athletes that he will increase it to 300,000 pesos for gold medalists, 200,000 for silver medalists, and 100,000 for bronze medalists. The mayor praised the athletes for bringing glory not only to the country but also to the city. Aside from the athletes, coaches will also be receiving incentives from the city government. La Bellia said the coaches played an important role in developing the abilities of the athletes. The mayor said Cebu City Sports Commission Executive Director Edward Haiko will create guidelines to determine how much coaches will receive. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. Close to 8 million pesos worth of a substance believed to be shabu was seized in separate drug busts in the cities of Lapu-Lapu and Cebu over the weekend. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. A woman arrested by authorities yielded 4.7 million pesos worth of substance believed to be shabu in a drug bus in Barangay Mambaling, Cebu City, Sunday. The suspect was identified as Emiluna Maitim, who was nabbed by the Mandawi City Police Office and Integrity Monitoring and Enforcement Group. MCPO spokesperson Mercy Villaro said they got an intel on Maitim through one of the suspect's contact in the illegal drug trade. Villaro said they tried to have the transaction in Mandawi City, but the suspect refused. The Mandawi police then coordinated with the Mambaling Police Station and IMEG to have the transaction with the suspect in Cebu City. Villaro said the suspect's living partner was killed for selling illegal drugs, but Maitim denied the allegation, saying her partner died of leptospirosis. Meanwhile, more than 3 million pesos worth of illegal drugs were seized in Lapu-Lapu City in separate drug busts on Saturday and Sunday. Three suspects identified as Janre Racaza, Jomar Arigino, and Marlon Lloyd Kanya were arrested. 
Lapu-Lapu City Police Office Chief Clarito Baja clarified that there is no presence of big drug personalities in the city. Baja said only street-level pushers are present in some areas of Lapu-Lapu. Lapu-Lapu City Mayor Junar Dahong Chan said pushers who will try to enter the city to conduct illegal activities will be arrested. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. More stories in News Bits Tonight after this short break. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. The Talk and Text Catropa will take a showdown against the Miralco Bulls in the Game 2 of the 2019 Philippine Basketball Association Governor's Cup semifinals tomorrow at 7 in the evening at the Big Dome. Catropa bested Miralco 103-94 in the Game 1 of the semifinals last Sunday to secure a 1-0 series lead. With more than four minutes left to play on the third period, Catropa unleashed an 18-6 run against Meralco, gaining their team's comfortable lead. The Bolt's offense enabled them to trim down the deficit to 8 points at 93-85 with 3 minutes remaining in the game. KJ McDaniels led the Catropa with 38 points and 14 rebounds, while Jason Castro had 17 points, 8 rebounds and 7 assists. Meralco's import, Allen Durham, tallied 32 points and 21 rebounds, while Chris Newsom added 14 points. Meanwhile, Game 3 of Patang Pierre against against Barangay Ginebra will tip off on Wednesday, December 18 at 7 in the evening. Kenneth Torres, News Bits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Sherry Ann Lim. Good evening.